A news alert. Seven is first to tell you about how many of our rural neighbors are struggling to put food on their tables. It's not about the money. It's their grocery stores leaving them high and dry shelves empty. And now today, this sign sent to the Denver Channel via Twitter showing a bright red closed notice. This is on the Akron Bella's Market. With no notice, the stores in Akron, Wiggins, and Walden all shut down. Well, Molly Hendrickson live in Wiggins tonight where families, they were dreading this possibility. Molly? Yeah, Ann, but they certainly didn't think it was going to happen today. You mentioned these signs that are now taped to the doors here. Employees say they got a call this afternoon for an impromptu meeting here at the market. If the recent bare shelves were any indicator. We hadn't had a delivery since Easter. The people of Wiggins should not be surprised by this. We went to work every day hoping the doors would still be open. Joanne Ferguson was one of several laid off today when Bella's Market, the town's only grocery store, closed its doors. Wiggins is now trying to figure out what's next. Several people have expressed interest in either building a grocery store or buying uh, the existing ones. So, like I say, this is kind of a shock, so we don't really have a... a direct plan in place. It is the same story in Akron, where earlier this month our hidden cameras revealed the same food drought. In Walden, Bella's will close on Thursday. He owe, owed all the vendors. He owes everybody money. And that's why we couldn't get any deliveries. In an email to 7 News, owner Sam Mancini calls the closure of three stores temporary, blaming ongoing litigation with the old owner. 7 News found Mancini declared bankruptcy in 2012 and has been in legal battles ever since. Are our checks going to bounce? Probably. And in that email, the owner told us that employees will be paid on time. He, however, failed to answer our questions as to whether these three stores will reopen. As for the Lyman and Wellington stores, he's promised to have the shelves fully restocked there by August. Reporting live in Wiggins, Molly Hendrickson, 7 News.